Welcome back to the California Gardener. I don't know if you remember last episode I showed you I had some moles or gophers digging in my garden. So what does that look like and how do you take care of them? Well right here beside me you'll notice these fresh mounds of dirt that uh, are piled up beside your garden. These are the gopher pushing out the dirt out of their holes piling up this dirt. So you go and you look for one of their tracks, one of their trails. So how do you do that? You just dig down, usually a foot or foot and a half under the ground, you'll find one of their holes. So there's one of their holes. It was going this way too. I plugged that side. I think they're coming from that way, so that's where I'm gonna put the trap. Now what kind of trap do I use? One of these black hole traps. I have one of them. You can buy them online, they work really well. It has a trigger mechanism in there. I put some bait in behind, uh, this time just a little piece of carrot. Now what you want to do is get a little bit of dirt from uh, where you dug the hole. So it just lines the bottom, shake it a little bit so it's flat, and then you want to set the trap. So let's see, I'm going to set this in the dirt here. So how do you set the trap? You just push this down, and this wire loop, that's what gets them, comes down, this wire loop snags them in the gut. You just put it on the inside of that lip. Push it all the way down, flip this trigger, I mean this release, over the top. And then there's a little notch in this little trigger that moves back and forth, okay? You just hook that right in the notch there. Just hook it right like that. And then there you go. It's all set. And it's a really sensitive trigger mechanism when this thing releases, man, that guy, he gets caught and I'm sure he's dead within a matter of seconds. So, now let's put it in the hole. So, you want to pop it in the hole. You want to dig your hole down, dig enough so that this thing will actually go off uh, when, you set, when you set it. So, that they have to, the spring has to be clear, right? So, you want to dig it in there. You see, I need to make more clearance for my spring here. So I'll just break it like this, and then I'll shove it down in more into the hole. Actually got to clear it out a little bit more. So it's okay if you have a little bit of dirt in there, because you are going to close it in after anyways. And then this guy is going to crawl into this trap. So that dirt's okay there, because it'll just fling off, move any rocks off. And then what you want to do is just put dirt around the entrance to block off the light. But I put... Sometimes when you have moles, leaving that back end open works better with gophers. I find I close in all of the things. I sprinkle dirt over all the holes so it's nice and dark. So they can't see anything. They don't suspect anything. And that's how you get them. So, once the trap is all set like that, it can spring up. There's nothing interfering with it so it'll pop right up once the gophers inside. And they will get rid of our pests in the garden. So, that's how it works. Now they have this trap set. Usually you'll catch them in the evening hours. So check your trap in the morning and empty it out. Don't forget to reset it in the same hole because there might actually be more gophers in that spot than you would think. I've caught three gophers in one hole sometimes sequentially. Catch one, put it back in. Ten minutes later, catch another one. So you never know how many are down there. Just keep setting it until the trap st or it's, uh, stops going off. Um, there are different kinds of traps, but I find this one works really well. Hopefully it'll help you catch some of those rodents in your garden. And good luck gardening this spring.